I'm a chemist by training and the things that our lab and our team measures are chemical properties of seawater. You know, pH with the bisulfate. Every year about 25% of all the CO2 that we emit goes into the ocean. So that lowers the CO2 levels in the atmosphere, but as a result, it reduces the pH of seawater. Fundamentally, what we really need are observations and measurements across the globe that allows us to make more accurate projections about how CO2 interacts with the ocean and therefore the trajectory of the planet and how habitable it's going to be moving forward. My name is Yui Takeshita. I'm a scientist that studies chemical oceanography at Ambari. So we are getting ready to deploy this spray glider this morning, loading it on our vessel, the Paragon. Traditionally, how we study the ocean is that we collect water samples. So physically bring back water from 4,000, 2,000 meters down. But fundamentally, there are challenges. You know, the ship is very, very small compared to the ocean. So even if you have a fleet of ships, it's really, really difficult and expensive to cover all areas of the ocean that we want to measure. Stern spray. What we really need is sustained observational network of robotic platforms equipped with chemical and biological sensors, continually out there collecting data so that we can analyze it to, to understand how human activity is impacting the ocean and its health. These are the glider deployments. So it dives about six to eight times a day, and then each time it dives, it takes measurements. Think of it as like the vital signs of the ocean, because if you don't have enough oxygen in your blood, then your body doesn't function properly. The same thing in the ocean too, as ocean absorbs CO2 that we're emitting, then the pH decreases and that can really stress out a lot of organisms. All right, team. One of the most successful you know, observational programs that exist in oceanography is something called Argo. And then Argo is an array of profiling floats. On a typical mission, a profiling float will drift for 10 days, collect measurements using sensors. And then when it reaches the surface, it relays all the data back to shore via satellite and then goes back down again. So you get this unbiased um, view of the oceans. What we are really focusing on right now is how to scale these proven technologies to the whole globe. That's where GlobeGC comes in. So that's the Global Ocean Biogeochemistry Array, a global network of these profiling floats with biogeochemical sensors so that we get a you know, very spatially even and comprehensive observation of the open ocean. All right, lots of good things happened in the past like couple of hours. Ambari is a big team. So if you want to deploy something in the ocean, it's not just about the science, but you need the engineers to make sure that whatever you're developing is going to survive in the ocean. And then you can work with the crew of the ship who are actually going to deploy it for you. So by keeping everyone in the loop, it really allows us to make quick progress and the ultimate product better. At Ambari, we continue to ask why something happened. If you really understand the why, then They'll take you to more questions in the next step. So this is the drift. I feel like we all are very curious about how the ocean works and how we can develop technology and then ultimately translating the knowledge that we gain to societal benefit. Yeah.